Hello, how are you doing on this beautiful November 1st? This is Kareem Williams, and you are here at Keeping It Real with Lefty. And today we have a somber story that we have to talk about. We have a situation that is ongoing within the hip-hop community, and it's becoming saddening. It's becoming sickening. And I just want to sit here and give my thoughts on what happened to take off early in the morning. We all know he's lost his life uh, due to senseless gun violence in Houston. Uh, before I get started, uh, please make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, Share if you care. Um, and you know, listen to what I got to what I got to say here. So what I want to do really quickly is share my screen here, if I may, before I get into my thoughts. Um and as you can see, this is the article uh that was on CNN. Takeoff member of rap group Migos fatally shot outside a private party in Houston, uh, police say. This is a very sad situation. And the reason why this is a sad situation is because Takeoff is not a problematic individual. He's a person that likes to relax, likes to chill. He doesn't say any much. He stays out of the way. And something like this happened to him. It's so unfortunate that he can be the superstar that he is, be in an establishment, and a stray bullet could hit him and take him away from here. I don't know what needs to be done when it comes to rappers losing their lives to senseless gun violence. I don't know what needs to be done. Rap has become one of the most dangerous occupations to have outside of being going to war overseas or wherever the case may be. It's dangerous to be a rapper. And that's sad. It's sad when it becomes dangerous to create music. And it's not necessarily the music. It's the environment that is created from the type of music that is being created. One other thing I want to touch on is the fact that we see videos of this man laid out on the ground. You mean to tell me we have people filming a man essentially taking his last breath? But we don't have the common sense to pick up the phone and call 911 to get that man help. Try to do some type of CPR. Stick a towel on his neck to stop the bleeding. This is crazy. I don't have a lot to say. I don't have a lot to say. This is a sad day. I send my condolences to his family. And we have to do better as a people, as a society, and even as a music genre. These record labels don't care. They have insurance out on the artists, and they're making money off this. They're releasing this music, but they're only releasing 
the music that people buy. They only release the music that people support. So take a step back and look. What are you supporting? What are you supporting? My name is Kareem Williams. Please leave a comment in the comment section on how do you feel about hip-hop in today's state of hip-hop and what's going on in rap and, and, and what's been happening to these independent artists, are these artists nowadays. And is rap now one of the most dangerous occupations you can have? Thank you, everybody, for coming. Stop sharing my screen. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, turn on all notifications, so when I drop a video, you can be notified. Rest in peace. Take off. You will greatly be missed. Your music and your legacy will live on forever. I'm sure that your other two brothers will make sure of that. And let's celebrate the accomplishments that this man has, you know, gotten in 28 years of living on earth. Let's celebrate that. But let's also understand that we are in a crisis right now. We are in a crisis. Have a great day, everyone. And I will see you on the next video.